Alright guys, in this video we'll be talking about SoFi Technologies, ticket symbol SOFI. You guys know I do love the stock. I do feel it will go to $100. I also want to buy heavy, okay? I'm going to start building my long position and I would not sell this position past a year, two years, okay? I'll just be holding, but I'm going to slowly start building it. I do like the pressure that is coming in on SoFi now getting some nice push right but we do want to make sure that push is lasting okay so make sure you guys smash that like button subscribe if you are new and let's get into it we had an old buy low around 1420 almost gonna hit that perfectly today and then just start shooting up resistance showed no real resistance acted as support right here and then went higher okay the only clear entry on here for a scalp uh that i really see was maybe here so you'd be up probably about 7% and then here. So it could be a nice scalp today, uh, but I'm more looking at the longer term. That's why uh, I'm not really trying to enter right now because it is chasing price trying to enter right now. And I have a long-term view on it. So let's go ahead and zoom out. Okay, so make sure you guys check out the BBIG video on Vinco Ventures right before this one. Very, very key levels for today. And then let's go to SoFi, ticker symbol S-O-F-I. Now, like I said, I have really two levels that I want to buy, okay? Two levels that I want to buy. Now, we are coming to some resistance. Right around $16, I believe, will be some resistance, okay? If there's no resistance, that's even more bullish, okay? But $16 is the first resistance level that I'm kind of watching out for, so make sure you watch that also. And then probably right around like $17. So we need to start having our levels a little closer, probably like every dollar range, we'll probably be expecting some resistance. So resistance level, that's why I'm not too fast to chase price right now, okay? We're finally starting to make a move, but we do have resistance that could present some selling pressure for us to get in at cheaper prices. So don't forget that, okay? Never chase price. First buying level I'm looking at is around 15. And I will actually be adding this stock to my long-term position, okay? My long-term account. I won't be adding it to, like, my day trading accounts and stuff. So 15 is one buying, and then 14 is a buying, okay? This is where I'm expecting some pullback, because we do need some pullback. Oh, let me take that green. We will need some pullback. Now, if it does not pull back, like, say it's very bullish today right um 14 so yeah very bullish today off the news right but what we need to know is is this run going to continue or is it just news hype right now okay and then it just stalls out what we want is we want to run but we want to pull back any consistent run we need that pullback for it to be a consistent run we don't want it to just shoot up all the way because that's how fast the crash is going to come okay we want nice consistent up movements so we want it up. We uh, hold up. So we want it up. Then we want some pullback, right? Then we want it up again. Then we want some pullback. We want it going like that, right? Not up. Not like this, because I think diagrams are better for you to see. Not like this. This, and then this, because you know it comes after that this okay so be mindful of that that's something that i'm uh watching also like i said i will be getting options long options though so they'll probably be uh very far out uh probably like aprils or something like that let's check the option chain real quick oh you see i already had them up so yeah like around uh april is the ones that i'll be looking at they are a little high i might even go a little further to be honest with you I might go like to May's, probably get these 20 strikes right here. They are a little high though. That's why I'm kind of waiting for a little pullback, but I think I will get those uh, coupled with the shares. So we'll kind of double up on the position. And these are the main levels I'm kind of watching out for. Just be mindful, don't chase price. It's going up, okay? But you don't want to put risk in there because it could, as fast as it comes up, it could drop down. So these are main levels I'm kind of watching out for right now. Buying level at 14 and 15, resistance at 16 and 17. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, no trading recommendation of buy or sell anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.